What does J.J. Watt look for in women? Personality. Uh, I think for me, the biggest thing is, is football is going to end someday for me. You know, it won't last forever, and the fame and the fortune, and everything kind of goes away. So for me, it's about somebody that I can, you know, sit on the couch with on a Saturday night, uh, order a pizza with, and just we can make each other laugh. You know, I think the coolest thing about a relationship when it's truly special is you don't need anybody else to have fun. You can find something in each other. You can find whether it's deep conversation with each other about serious topics or it's just completely messing around and having a, having a laugh with each other. I think that's so important. Um, it has to be somebody that you, when, when those two people make each other better, like I want to help enhance her life and I want her to help enhance my life. And I think when, we, when I find that, that's when I really know that I have found the one is somebody that I truly want to spend every single day with and I can't wait to get home and talk to. What do you think you've had to sacrifice in your personal life for your career? In-depth relationships. I think that I, I wish I got more time to spend with my family and my friends. I wish I could, you know, make everybody's you know, birthday party and, you know, having a kid and um, everything, you know, graduations and uh, marriages and weddings. I wish I could do everything, but I can't. And I think that's probably the number one thing that I do miss out on is, is missing big moments in people's lives because of my life. And, but on the, I look at the flip side of that and all the cool things that we've gotten to do because of this life and all the trips you know, to Ireland that I get to take with my buddies because of this life. So one thing I'll always say is the pros will outweigh the cons 100 times out of the 100 in my life. To what extent though does it feel like to you you've missed out on some of that social stuff? You know, I, it doesn't feel, this has always been my goal. Everybody who's known me since high school has known this has been my goal. So I don't feel like I've missed out on that much because I've done everything to accomplish my goals. This is what I committed to doing. This is the life that I chose. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, if I could do it all over again, I would do it differently because I wouldn't. Right. I, I, I want to be here. I want to be in the position I'm in, and, and it's worked. How hard does it make dating? Very hard. Uh, I don't think it's just my work schedule that makes it hard. I think it's having your salary printed on the front page of the newspaper. I think it's having the whole world watch your every move and any female you're ever seen with is automatically your girlfriend. I think uh, anything, you know, bringing a girl into this life and the scrutiny and the criticism that comes with it, no matter how perfect the girl is, people are going to rip her to shreds uh, because that's the social media world we live in today. I think that you have to be so careful about that. Um, so it's not just on my end, it's about bringing somebody in that can handle that as well.